Okay, let's have a look at a slightly more complicated one. I've got X's on both sides, but I'm still going to do the same thing. I'm going to have all my X's on one side, my numbers on the other, and when I change the side, I'll change the sign. So let's have a look at it. Which side shall we put our X's on? Or which side has most X's? I've got five X's on this side, three X's on that side. This side has most X's, so those X's can stay there. So the numbers are going to be over here, so the 10 can stay where it is. So let's look at this first one. 5X plus 4, I need to get rid of the 4. Change the side, change the sign, that's fine. Now we'll go over to the other side, 3X plus 10. I want numbers on this side. So I want to get rid of 3x, change the side, change the sign. It was plus, now it's minus. Now I can see that 5x take away 3x is 2x, 10 take away 4 is 6. I want x on its own, so they can stay the same. With this 2, I'm going to change the side change the sign. It was times 2, now it'll be divided by 2. So x equals 6 divided by 2, which is 3. Let's have a look at another one. 2x plus 3 equals 6x minus 5. Decide which side we want the x's on. 2x on this side, 6x on that side. We'll have the x's over here. So the x's can stay where they are. On this side we're having numbers, so the 3 can stay where it is. Looking at the first bit, 2x plus 3, 3 stay where it is, I need to move 2x. Change the side, change the sign, was plus 2x, now minus 2x. Going over to the other side, 6x is staying where it is, the 5 needs to come over to the numbers. Change the side, change the sign. So now we have 8 equals 6x minus 2x, which is 4x. And if, at this point you can just switch them around, doesn't matter. So here we have 4x equals 8. I want x on this side, numbers on that side. Change the side, change the sign. It was times 4, now it'll be divided by 4. x equals 8 divided by 4, x equals 2. Let's have a go at another one. Two x plus 4 equals 3 x minus Six. Oh, sorry, plus six. Which side shall we have the x's on? I've got two x's on this side. I've got three x's on that side. That side has the most. Put them over there. So we need to leave that where it is and the four can stay here. Now we're going to swap them over. 2x needs to go over here. Change the side. Change the sign. Plus 6 needs to come over here. Change the side. Change the sign. On this side we have 3x take away 2x, which is x. And on this side we have minus 6 plus 4. So if we go from minus 6 along the number line, 
minus 6, minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. We start at minus 6 and we're going to add on 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And the answer is minus 2. Just for ease, I'm going to swap them round just to say x equals minus 2. Okay? Have a go at the ones on your worksheet.